she told me something that should have told me that she wasn't ready for a relationship. She told me she had just broken up with her ex two mm. months prior. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bruh, I don't know. I might have to talk to them motherfuckers. Cause ain't no way in the hell, man. I'm still on for the fact that you gave away some down check code ticket cause the bitch didn't want to fucking go. I would have said, I would have, I ain't gonna lie, I would have grabbed somebody like, hey, we finna go to CJ Cole, shut the hell up, enjoy the ride. But let's see what this nigga talking about now. This girl left me broken. Damn. <sighs> Didn't we just go through this shit in the last fucking video? She don't wanna be, say it on save her. She don't wanna be, say it on save her. She don't wanna be, say it on save her. She don't wanna be, say it. You out here saving hoes, nigga. Well. I can finally talk about this because it's been almost a year since it happened. I got heartbroken last year. It happens to all of us, even me. Some of us take it. Oh, okay, you got heartbroken. Okay, 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 okay. I guess we can sit down and listen. Better or worse than others, but all in all, it still hurts. When you give a piece of yourself to somebody, that nigga sound like he was throwing up a cell crime. Somebody. And they basically take that piece and crumble it up. Step on it, unfold it, and give it back. Why well, like tell shit you thanks, on. but no thanks. So I met this girl. Mm -hmm. The way I met her was through Instagram, as it had. Let's just say. What we're gonna call her? I'm calling Kathleen. It went down in the DMs. I was scrolling late one night, but not too late. It was like 9, 9.30, peak hours. And I clicked on the story of this girl who was looking good. I slide up with the eyes. The eyes let her know you see her. Not too much though, not too much. Just that she grabbed your attention. She replied back. That's all I needed. I don't know about any of y'all, but if a girl replies to my DM, it gets dangerous. That's all I need is a reply, I promise. So eventually we exchange numbers mm -hmm. and start to get to know each other. Now this is during Christmas and at the time- Just that ultimate reads where all you guys say do one emoji and she down bro, just that ultimate reads. I worked at Walmart. So while trying to plan a date, the stars weren't really aligning. I could just feel her losing interest. Replies were getting slower. Combos were getting drier. So I started to conjure a plan. I mean, I mean, Shada, what you gonna do? You dealing with a dude around criminal time where you know that he finna be working like hell. Like if you were at retail that pop left or you a down the very driver, you not getting a fucking break until it's starting October. You not getting a break till December 25th. That when the shit calm down, finally. But you not getting a break till then. Not even, you don't even get a break Thanksgiving, bro. You, you is out there. You is out there. You, that, 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 shit, that, that shit is not for the week. That shit is not for the week. You got to be strong minded to do that shit, fam. I tell her we should FaceTime. She agrees. Now, when we FaceTimed, I knew what had to be done. I had to set the foundation. I had to hit her with the sleepy voice. Women's kryptonite <laughs> is the sleepy voice, boys. I'm trying to tell you after we FaceTimed complete 180. She was texting and calling me first. We ended up planning a date during the FaceTime, and this wasn't just any regular date. We decided on going on a breakfast date. I'm not a morning person, never will be. If I have to do something earlier than 11 a.m., nothing because it can't happen. I literally cannot function in the morning. I don't drink coffee. I don't even really like breakfast food. So if you're asking me why I decided on a breakfast date, because I was horny for new experiences. We went on the date and it was a great time. We ate, mm -hmm. shared laughs, the vibes. Make sure y'all got them chickens and waffles. If not, just settle for some pancakes. Y'all thank me later. We were so good, neither of us even wanted it to end. We even extended it past our intended time and went to a park where we could park the car and overlook this pond. Aww. It felt like a scene 
straight from a movie, bro. bro. So much so, we're talking. And I just stop and gaze into her eyes. And all I could think about was how much I and gaze into her. It felt like a scene straight from a movie, bro. So much so, we're talking. And I just stop and gaze into her eyes. And all I could think about was how much I wanted to kiss her. I move in for the kiss mm -hmm. and she meets me halfway. Mm -hmm. Sparks halfway. were flying. From here, we went on a couple more dates. Okay. It was nothing. Okay, but okay. Walking like an IG model. Ooh. Straight vibes with her. We were falling asleep on FaceTime together every mm -hmm. night. We went to the same college. So after class, we would spend time together. She mm -hmm. even met my family. We were in the talking state. I didn't see any red flags, probably because I ignored them all. And I was horny for mm. new experiences. During the very first FaceTime call, she told me something that should have told me that she wasn't ready for a relationship. She told me she had just broken up with her ex two mm. months prior. Mm. You can't fully heal in two months. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you say. You can't fully heal from a heartbreak in two months. Mm -hmm. You really can't even place a time on how long the healing process takes. Mm -hmm. But I ignored it. Me being excited. Because in them two months, you are in denial. You are in that, yeah, 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 I'm out. I'm going to be this single life shit. But you ain't processed your damn emotions yet. I'm speaking from experience. You ain't processed your emotions yet. I'm just saying. That for once, a girl actually had taken interest in me caused me to ignore big issues that were clear signs that I was headed for imminent danger. At this point, we had already been talking for four months. It was around the point where I was ready to take the next step. It was one day where while hanging out, I asked her, hey, how do you feel about this? Like, are you ready to take this seriously, me and you? Well, maybe. Honestly, I got some thinking to do. Okay. So the next two days, her vibe is off. Mm. The replies ain't replying. The calls not calling like they should. She eventually texts me later that night saying, hey, I just need some time to think. Just like two or three days. I'm OK, but I just need this. I give her the time she needs. On the literal third day, she calls me. She tells me that she's not ready for a relationship right now and that she just needs time to herself for a while. I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a vulnerable place. So I'm begging, not gonna lie, begging is crazy. Not begging, but I'm pleading. I'm talking about, we could have been so good together. We could have lived this dance forever. But now who's gonna dance with me? Please stay. But to no event. She needed that time and left with my heart in her bag. After that, I wasn't in the right headspace for a minute. I put all my time into my channel. I'm not going to lie. I did try to ease the pain with other women or a different woman. That's singular people, Ice spice. but it didn't work. While searching for my heart again, I did find one thing that got me through it. Rod Wave. Rod Wave. Nah, nah, see, this is the thing about Rod Wave. Oh my God! No, be beefing with my nightbot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I gotta read. I gotta do that thing. But bro, did the thing. I ain't never seen Rock Ray make no damn, no damn hype music. He like, he just got no sad vibe music. <laughs> Y'all nigga be at a Rock Ray console just crying. Rock Ray give out light skin energy, fam. You cannot tell me different. He got some song that do make sense, but majority of his song, I ain't never seen niggas and they feeling that damn much, bro her favorite artist and outside of her i found that i can relate to his pain in a lot of his songs so jasmine i thank you her name is not jasmine by the way for you detectives out there moral of this story heartbreaks hurt take the time needed to heal because the saying goes hurt people hurt people and although you may be hurting looking for a way to bandage the wound make sure you're not the person hurting someone else I'm saying, I'm saying, look, bro, I'm saying, y'all is not healing. If y'all indeed down long, down relationship, two months, it's not fucking enough. Cause you gotta go into, I'm um, height phase, 
then denial phase, then feeling off phase, then the breakdown phase, which lasts a good little bit, by the way. Then you got a baby step phase where you crawl, then you take a few steps, start getting you find some that you like, you know, during that breakdown, you shed tears, you scream, you yell, you fight, you lose yourself, you go depressed, you know, your anxiety gets way more fucked up, you don't know how to talk about it, you just sit there, you sleep all day, or you can't sleep, stuff like that, you don't want to eat because you can't eat because you're throwing the shit up, or you pooping it out, you know, like, I just go through all, then you think you're good, but you ain't good, then you go back to the night, then you start doing the cross steps, and you're like, bro, bro, you, not, it takes six months to a year to get yourself back together. I don't care what nobody say. It takes that long to get. Oh, my God.